mysteries and the secrets of how Moa put some of those uh, animals in the, in the ship. He didn't put full grown creatures. Oh, that's why the right ship. Like a big ass elephant. It's probably bigger than that. He didn't put big ass full grown elephants, male and females, in the ship. They were small. You know? Noah was perfect. He, it, it, Noah was, uh, he was an intelligent man. He knew the technology of holding eggs, storing eggs, and all that shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he was a very intelligent man. It, the technology before the flow was great. You know what I mean? That's right. It was, the wisdom, get that, the wisdom, get that the wisdom, the wisdom of the head. The wisdom, that's why the... Put full grown fucking elephants in full grown creature, you, everything with that shit. So I guarantee you the sons of Cain, they, they were destroying the earth. You know what I mean? Just like Esau is doing today. Esau is the, uh, the spiritual uh, descendant of Cain. And you say, what do they do? The people who control the earth, they destroy the earth. That's why the Lord said... Uh, this is not this is not the Lord's kingdom. You know what I mean? This is the kingdom of the devil, the kingdom of Satan. It's where they destroy the earth, destroy the environment, kill the animals. They say they don't know. You know, like tigers are going extinct, lions are going extinct, uh, elephants are going extinct. All because of Esau. The bees are going extinct. You know what I'm saying? He, he got no respect for the Lord's creation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he tried to create like a fucking. A, a transsexual is what he created. Here's a, this is Ezekiel 8, 13. He said, but also unto me, turn thee again, again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than they do. This motherfucker trying to kill off all the animals and drink a uh, combination of lion, tiger, uh, 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 eel, a uh, eel sound. They, they got uh, spider, spider, spider. they got kittens that glow in the dark. Yeah, or something? Yeah, oh, man. yeah, they they mix the uh, the genes of a jellyfish with a kitten. You know what I mean? That stuff's big in China. You know China got no regulations. Right, exactly. like a normal one weird. Yeah, they got no respect for the earth. They have polluted all the rivers on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Walking up to a river, it's all slimy. All slimy. And shit. Ain't no crabs in it, or turtles, or frogs to, to clean the shit up. <laughs> but Jake is gonna fish them all out there and eat them all. Go swim. Yeah, he does swim. Jake Yeah, they really fucked this planet up bad, man. But the Lord got, the Lord got a, uh, he got to replenish the earth. You gonna have to, what they, what do you call it? You want to heal the world. I, I feel like pretty much, yeah. That's what you we got to heal the world. I'm not trying to go on Michael Jackson there. Yeah. Heal the world. Yeah. But that's what's gonna happen. They gonna cleanse the earth with fire. You got purifier with fire. Hey, cause you know the ash and all that, all them ashes is good for the soil. Ashes corn. Cause you know every year in my garden, I throw ashes in my soil to help the garden grow. So when the Lord destroys this place with that fire, you can see how that fire and that ash will help replenish the nutrients into the earth. Yeah, all the dead bodies going into the earth. Yeah, that's a good point. They try to do that too, like you know, somebody with a big man, they try to like, they spread the ash or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, will too. That's a lot of nutrients. They didn't break it, they do, they put dead fish. Yeah, dead fish. Yeah, so called a good shit, they put dead fish. Go point, man. Go ahead. Jeremiah 51 and 25 it says, I'm going to turn forward. And I will render unto Babylon, to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, all the evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith Yahweh. Behold, I am against the old destroying mountain, saith Yahweh, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain, and they shall not take thee a stone for a corner. For a, stone, for a stone foundation, but thou shalt be desolate forever, said Yahweh. Right, and America's a, uh, the new Babylon, Babylon the Great, you know what I mean? It's going it's gonna to end, it's going to suffer a, a more grievous death than ancient Babylon. It's going to be burnt with fire, you know what I'm saying? Like what it say, like, uh, the, 
what is sort of the rock? Because America is that giant mountain, you know, where a giant mountain represents a kingdom. And it said the Lord's going to push them off the rocks, you know what I'm saying? It's like Esau, yeah, it's like Esau thinks he's standing on top of a Mount Everest, you know, he's so high, you know what I'm saying? The Lord's going to push his ass off the mountain. <laughs> I'm playing King of the Hill, you remember you used to play King of the Hills, kid? You play King of the Mountain or whatever? You get, yeah, you get, yeah. He's all gonna get kicked off the mountain. He's gonna be a burn on, yeah. Thrown into slavery. Okay. We're pretty bad against the city. No. Oh, what you got? Genesis 6. Genesis 6 and 13. Oh, where you at? Genesis 6 and 1. Oh, that's probably too much. We'll start there anyway. It says, And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all their truth. Yeah, the sons of God, that's us. True. That's the Israelites. That's not talking about the angels. Or, there's no such thing as fallen angels. Go ahead. Right. The Nephilim, that was the Israelites. The giants, the Nephilim, when you work that word giant up, it says, uh, Nepal, you, but that, that's the Israelites. Go ahead. Israelites. Yeah, I know they do. You know, eat them like this. 
stinking, these stinking ass bitches. That's where all the freaky people live down here. Yeah, freakiest really. people in the down here, downtown. They got money. They live too. All these you go down Gay Street, you know, kind of little bit. I couldn't live down here either. This is miserable. Hey, come on, come on, do that. Uh, this is Jason 63. And I was said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, but that he is also his flesh, then his days shall be 120 years. Yeah, so right there, the Lord cut man's years down to 120 years. Because before that, before that scripture right there, men lived to be like 900 and something. You can read it later, the Lord cut it down even farther. Now, there's a, a, a scripture in the song when it said the Lord's years would be 60 or 80 if he's lucky. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the, we, we, we're around there now. Yeah. 75. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Jordan most people dropped in around 50 now. 55. So that, so that during the time of the flood, the Lord cut everybody, the average lifespan, 120. You know what I mean? So go ahead. That's still a long time. Well, yeah. More than what we got now. Well, we just think Methuselah was like, little big damn near a thousand. Was it? There's probably 120 still in the first strike. Yeah, full strength. Hell, they was full strength when they was 900. Not like now, you're running around with the most of wheelchairs now. Yeah, because the scripture tell you Joshua, he was an old man when he was fighting the Canaanites. Moses, I tell you what, Moses was an old man. Yeah, he was, he still had his, uh, his eyes were not dim. He still had strength. You know what I mean? Go ahead. It says there were giants in the earth in those days. And that's, also, oh, it's like that's the the so-called Nephilim, the giant. That's the Israelites. Go ahead. And also, after that, the sons of God came. Go ahead. The sons of God came in unto the children of men. And, and the sons of God coming to the ch uh, the daughters of men. I mean, the, the Israelites, the, the, the men of the chosen line, going, going from Adam to Seth. Because you had other men on the earth at that time. You had people who descended from Cain. Because Cain had a son called Enoch. You know there's two Enochs in the Bible? You had the good Enoch that walked with the Most High, got beamed up. Then you had the evil Enoch. And when Cain, and the scriptures tell you, Cain built a city. So the first mention of a city getting built in the Bible was built by Cain. You know, saying the son of the devil, and he named that city Enoch after his son. So you can see this right here. This got the spirit of Cain on it. That spirit of building cities and all that go back to Cain. Read that. Read that. Part. Oh yeah. But well, you had Israelites that was going. The people who descended from Seth, they was going and taking uh, them daughters from the descendants of Cain. And, or the other heathens who was on the earth. That's against the law. Because Israel was only supposed to marry, uh, you know, their own people. So that's what that scripture in Genesis is talking about. The sons of God, which means that the holy seed, the holy line, took wives of the daughters of men. Because Cain was considered uh, was the son of the wicked. He, was a, he wasn't of the chosen line. And the other people on the earth, that they was not of the chosen line. Uh, go ahead. So that's what that scripture's talking about. It wasn't talking about angels having sex with humans. First of all, you know how big an angel is? You know, an angel, the scriptures tell you, uh, what, what, what scripture would it say that angel was the color of barrel and he was bigger, he was gigantic? That's what Bill Mackey is. No, well, no, I think it's one of the prophets, Ezekiel or Daniel. Yeah, this one is. Okay, they're probably, yeah, this one. About, the angels are giants, you know what I mean? This, but the angels don't have sex. They, they don't use the bathroom. They don't eat. They don't drink. So, but if an angel was a giant and he had a giant rod, he would kill a woman if he had sex with her. That doesn't make no sense. I can look up the word barrel and tell you that. Yeah, but the angels don't have sex. So there's no way in hell that angels had sex with women. That's retarded. B E R Y L. And that's like a bright blue, guy, like a, a glowing blue color. You look, you look up a barrel stone. It's like a baby blue. Oh, so I went through a uh, revelation with stone like the cherry. Yeah. It goes through all the stones that it had on it. And them colors, them stones, are beautiful. Man. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. I remember in that scripture it tells height too. It was giant. Oh. I mean, even a regular Israelite was pretty big too though. You know what I mean? And we was we was splitting the heat. Did you imagine what the Israelites were doing to the heathen women when we were in our prime? I mean, I'm sure they could change their shape and all that, too. Yeah, yeah they appeared like men. And then the people wanted to have sex with them. The angels don't have sex. I tell you that, Matthew uh, 22, the angels are neither married or given in marriage. They, they don't have physical bodies like us, you know what I mean? An angel's not even a physical being. It's something you can't like. What, you can't comprehend what an angel is. It's or you can say it's, a, it's, a, it's an actual intelligence. It's a celestial being. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know what it is. It's like a celestial being will have human body parts. Like not only that, but there's not even no talk. And all that. another thing, there's not even no, not a single mention of the female angel either. Now, the angels could have sex with every female angels everywhere. <laughs> so they could do it with their own kind. <laughs> there's no such thing as female angels. As far as I'm aware, unless you got scripture, I ain't got it. Because in the kingdom, in the spiritual world, the women in, in order there too. Yep. They ain't out doing no work. <laughs> For real. First Corinthians 15 and 39. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beast, another flesh, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. Right. The celestial bodies going into the, the angels. They have celestial bodies. They have a different flesh. It's like a human can't have sex with a, a tiger. I mean, they're going to try, you know what I'm saying? But it's not possible. Just like it's not possible for a human to have sex with an angel. It's not possible. The angel in fruits that puts a lot of steak in there. You got to get some of the celestial in the Celestial, uh, yeah. Some nasty bitches with it. Got everything going up in our head, up in there. All kind of living creatures. All kind of. You saw. Everybody saw the video. The woman with the heel, man. This beast on the fucking snake. That's foul, man. That's foul. Man. You think an angel got a fucking nerve to pick up in the fucking nasty? Yeah, I don't see that happening. I don't see it. Hebrews 2 and 16. For verily he took not only on the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Right. He's saying it's different. Because there's no yeah, the seed of Abraham. Man. I said it's what we No, I just had a whole. Uh, uh, Genesis 6. Yeah, he 
going after that. Yeah, I know you get to that Genesis 6 and 4 part. You gotta explain that. Because there's so much madness that being taught on Genesis uh, 6 is ridiculous. <laughs> Boom! So you can't just, just read right over it. You gotta explain it. Go ahead. They were they brought you to the same became mighty man to an old man of renown. Yeah, the, the mighty men meant an old man of renown. That's why you got all them old mythology stories. You know a lot of them mythologies, ancient tales, that's all based on Israelites. Go ahead. It says, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Right, that, and this, this applies to today also. Read that again. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the power that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. I was said, I will destroy man from whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and follow the earth, for it repented me that I have made them. Right, so the, 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 the Lord was angry, angry. Because you can see the, uh, like what you said, the spirit of Cain is, is out here. It was just, that's the spirit of the devil. And just like uh, like the Lord said, we, we, this today is like the time of Noah. Just like the Lord just destroyed the earth with that flood, now he's going to destroy it again with a flood of fire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, let's get that. Uh, so at the time, Isaiah 13. 13. Because yeah. like I said, like you just read, every imagination of every, their heart. Yeah, evil continually. Woo! Every imagination of their heart was evil continually. Same thing, same shit they doing now, man. And like you see, yeah. Same shit. This, is, this right world right here is just the kingdom of the Satan, man. Yeah. Right. It's all about the following your own heart. You know what I'm saying? And the scriptures say that your heart was at Jeremiah 17. Your heart is deceitful above all things. And it, that's what it, this whole world is based upon, following your heart, your carnal desires. You know what I mean? 